click the System button, then the Automation tab. The Formats field lets you select the type playlist that Music One will make for your playout system. M3U playlist can be used by almost all media players. SAM Broadcaster uses an M3U, but you can also see there's a selection for SAM here. If you use the SAM selection, then the playlist Music One makes will be exactly the same as the playlist it would make with the M3U setting. So if you're using SAM Broadcaster, you can use either M3U or SAM format setting. Winamp can read and play an M3U playlist. We also have a Winamp format setting. This gets Music One to produce a different type file with a PLS extension that Winamp also reads. People using one of the OTS playout systems, OTS DJ or OTS AV, can get Music One to make a playlist customized for that system. Webcasters using Music One with Live365.com host servers can select Live365. This will then enable Music One to link to the Live365 locker, import library data from it, and then upload the finished playlists to the user's Live365 playlist locker. The Playlist Folder field tells Music One where to save the daily playlist files that it makes for your playout system. Now notice this. On the General tab window, we have a Log field. This is where Music One saves its own log files. Each time you save a new log or playlist, Music One makes two files. It saves its own log file in the directory name that you enter here. And from that, it makes a playlist file for your automation webcast playout system. And it saves that into the playlist folder that you enter here. When you type a name into this field, Music One will make a subfolder of that name. So if I type my playlist here, Music One will make a folder with the path C colon backslash Music One SE backslash My Playlists. If you want the playlist to be saved to some other directory outside the Music One SE directory, then you can double click into the Playlist Folder field and negotiate through your computer or your network and select the folder where you want the playlist to be saved. The Import folder is not important. Leave this field empty. The date format tells Music One how to date or name the playlist. Sam Broadcaster prefers the playlist to be named Year Year Month Month Day Day. Some systems might prefer the playlist to be name dated with a different format, and all the options are here. Normally, Music One will make one full 24 hour playlist for each day. Some webcast systems need the playlist broken down into 24 one hour segments. If either SAM or M3U are selected as the format, then this field appears. You check this box and Music One will then produce 24 one-hour playlist files for each day. Require File or Cart tells Music One not to include in the playlist file any song card or non-music card that it may have scheduled but has an empty cart or file field. Leave this box checked. The parameter and value settings should not be modified without talking first with Music One tech support. Music One will observe the American DMCA rules governing the maximum number of songs from a particular album that can be scheduled within a three hour period. If there are some album titles that you want omitted from DMCA rules, you can enter the title here. For example, if a band has its own webcast, it can omit its own albums from the DMCA rule enforcement. Some large webcast hosts enforce the DMCA rules a bit tighter than the law calls for. One of the rules is no more than four songs by the same artist within a three hour period. If you check this box, Music One will then alert you before it schedules the fourth song by the same artist within the three hour period, and before it schedules a song that would reach the maximum allowable limit of any of the other DMCA rules. Most webcasters do not want to check this box.